something small that's been on for a very long time. A little tuna. Really? Cool. Woo! And I wonder how long that thing's been on there. That was a far, far bait. Pretty fish. Alright, I went to go drink a delicious Dr. Pepper and the uh, smallest lure in the spread, a little white jig that a subscriber sent to me. Thank you very much, by the way. It's charging the boat. That's what mine did. Oh, it's a bonita! Uh. That's why I caught a little bit. Duh. This right here, false albacore, otherwise to us southerners known as a bonita, which is not actually a bonita. You guys have an actual fish called a bonita. And everyone up north calls these albies. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cook this guy up. We've done it in the past where we've eaten a blackfin and a bonita before. And so this was the ballyhoo that we had out and it looks like it got clean cut right behind the hook. You can see some teeth marks right there. And then another one of our planer rods just got hit and I think it got cut as well. Third one, right? Yep. They're all that same size. That one was deeper. Yes, you were. We're in 340 now. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Little airplanes. They got some really big fins for their size, don't they, Brooke? Yeah. Very cool. And when you first catch them, they got that real golden, um, like golden tint, and then you got a little bit of green and blue in there. One of the most beautiful fish out there. So Bricky and I have a double. So no one's driving the boat right now. She's got the planer rod and I got the uh, the one with the white jig. We're ghost driving. We're ghost driving this <laughs> one. Another with little the man. Woo! We got tuna for dinner. Another black fin yeah. on the white jig. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'll say it once. I'll say it again, and I'll keep saying it for the rest of my life. Everything in the ocean eats a white jig. Just like the one right here, sent in by a subscriber. Thank you so much, dude. Perfect little size black fins. Little footballs. Look at this. <laughs> Don't let them out of the boat. <laughs> Two airplanes coming at you guys. We had a beautiful day. I'm, I'm just happy. I'm out here with my babe, my beautiful <laughs> girlfriend. We got some dinner and we're just having a good time. I think Brick and I are gonna call it quits. We're gonna head in. We got a bunch of fish to clean. We gotta clean the boat before it gets dark. Daylight savings time, so it gets dark at six o'clock. So we'll see you guys at the play table. We got our false albacore bonita filleted up and now we are in the kitchen time to whip up something delicious so today i'm going to be making a marinated tuna on the grill as well as some beautiful ribeye steak sent over by our friends over at the butcher box which i will touch upon a little bit later but the first thing we're doing is making a marinade so you guys saw me put in some olive oil red wine vinegar orange juice and some worcestershire Now to balance out the acidity and the oil and just the very richness of the liquids, we gotta put in some fresh herbs to lively up our marinade. I have some flat leaf parsley. I'm giving a quick rinse. Gonna chop it up 
uh, pretty fine. And we're going to add a little bit of garlic as well. We got our garlic being squished in our garlic press right here. And I'm saving some garlic for a chimichurri sauce that I'm gonna be making later as well. So I'm not using all of this garlic for our marinade. And I'm gonna be using half of the marinade for our ribeyes and then the other half for our fish. Also going to add some dried oregano to our marinade as well as some brown sugar. I wish I went a little bit lighter on the brown sugar because it came out a little bit sweet for my liking. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about this butcher box. This is a company that actually reached out to me and I thought it would be a perfect fit for a catch and cook, do a little surf and turf style meal. They are a subscription based service where they deliver the highest quality meats to your door. I'm talking really good grass fed beef, free range chickens, all humanely raised animals. They have custom boxes, all beef boxes, all different types of subscriptions available to you guys and you guys can cancel at any time. And they're running a promotion with me where you guys can save $20 off your first order and get free bacon in your box. All you guys got to do is enter your email. I will put a link in the description box below and we'll talk a little bit about the butcher box more towards the end of the video. So we got our ribeyes right here and these are, I'm talking just beautiful, beautiful cuts of beef. You guys never really see me cook anything but fish on this channel. But I plan on changing that and spicing up the catch and cooks for you guys, especially since we got this great grill, the Traeger grills that you guys saw in the last video. We're actually going to be using it in today's video as well. So as you guys see, I mean just really good marbled beef. It just looks so tasty and I was very impressed with the quality of this. And you guys will see later that it came out great as well. So we're going to go ahead and put our ribeyes into a Ziploc bag and marinate them in our marinade. And I actually marinated these guys for about four to six hours, whereas the fish I only did for about an hour or two. So let me tell you a little bit about this. This is a chimichurri sauce that I wanted to make to put on top of our steaks. And you guys, I tried to make this about three or four times and it just never came out to the quality that I wanted. It just kept coming out bitter. So I don't know if I just don't like chimichurri sauce or if I was doing something wrong, but I like to keep it real with you guys and you know sometimes cooking is about failing and that's how you learn you know you learn what you like and what you don't like so back to our fish this right here in front of you this is false albacore otherwise known as the bonita now what i'm holding this is the skipjack tuna that brooke caught i don't know if i showed it in the video but i'm just trying to show you guys the little bit of difference between the styles of tuna and then this right here is the blackfin tuna so you guys can kind of see the blackfin and the skipjack are a lot more red in color uh, the albacore is a lot whiter i'd say it's firmer i don't really think one is more fishy than the other i would only say that with the false albacore the bonita the, the so-called trash fish there's a lot more waste involved if you want a good finished product so you gotta really trim the bloodline and there's just a lot of i would say inedible not very tasty meat but otherwise the flavors are pretty similar we're also going to be grilling some zucchini as well as beautiful portobello mushrooms. These are perfect to pair with the steak and the tuna on the grill. And I just went ahead and brushed up the veggies with some avocado oil as well as some Traeger veggie rub, which you guys are about to see in a second. All right, there we have it. Now tell me your mouth isn't watering. Our tuna, first of all, on the grill came out pretty juicy because it was marinated. And the whole way the pellet grill works with the Traeger is it's more of a convection style cooking rather than a direct flame. And so you really get even cooking throughout the whole process. Our ribeyes, I could have taken off a little bit sooner, but my grandma's really concerned with the whole blood thing, so I didn't want to freak her out. Our zucchini, everything just, the wood fire taste is amazing. And like I said before, in regards to the false albacore, AKA the bonita, 
It is not a trash fish. It just needs to be treated like an albi. That is, you can only cook it certain ways. You know, it, it, it does have a lot of waste in terms of when you go through the flaying cleaning process, you do gotta trim off a lot of bloodline and just meat that doesn't look appetizing. But overall, you can make a great meal out of it. If you guys are interested in the butcher box, like I told you earlier, it would make a perfect present for a family, friend, holiday season's coming up. But be sure to use the link in the description box below to get that special promotional offer. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video.